Hey guys, so as you can see this is a video about glitter because it's December which is Christmas party season so to me that's the time when more people are going to be wearing glittery makeup than throughout the rest of the year. Maybe people will be going out and buying it so this is kind of advice on how to wear it, kind of toned down, more over the top, that sort of thing. So I'm not going to cover really lip stuff, glitter, because I think if you want to do that you probably want like a MAC that has a glass type thing. It's a shimmery gloss. I wouldn't advise getting a separate glitter product. Um, I definitely wouldn't advise loose glitter on the lips because it can be quite gritty and then if you've got someone to kiss at the bells or on their mistletoe, whatever, they're going to get glitter all over their face and they're probably not going to appreciate it. I'm also not going to talk about body glitter for kind of similar reasons because if you wear glitter on your arms or whatever and then you go to give someone a cuddle you might get it on their outfit and if they're wearing something expensive they're probably not going to appreciate that either so yeah. So the first product I'm going to talk about are glitter eyeliners. Um, I'm not going to really go through all of these, this is just quickly to demonstrate that they're not difficult to find. Uh, this is a product from the Body Shop last year, one end's a mascara, one end's a liner. I wouldn't recommend a separate glitter, eye glitter mascara because it's just, I'll explain that later. Uh, the Gemma Kid one, you can get this at Space NK, Urban Decay, you can get them anywhere, they've got all sorts of colours. MAC, these tend to only come out in limited edition collections now I believe. Um, Stila, these were limited edition, they're gone but if you can get a hold of them there's some fantastic colours in these. And last but not least, this is from Collection 2000 which is a brand I don't believe you get outside of the UK. But yeah, just as a quick example of the fact that you do not need to spend a lot of money on these products. Um, these are the only two I had of similar colour. Urban Decay Stage Dive and Collection 2000 Le Freak. I've swatched these on my hand. Now this is four swipes with the Urban Decay to get that much glitter and this is one swipe with the Collection 2000 which is 2 99 compared to like 11 quid or something for these. So if you're in the UK I would recommend these above the Urban Decay ones. Okay so the good thing about these which is going to bring me back to the glitter mascara thing. You can just paint these on your lashes as well. I've done it on my lower lashes but I don't think it's going to show on camera because it's quite subtle. Because I've done it with this which is spandex which is quite dark. So I don't know if you can see it catching the light there a little bit on my lower lashes. But that's all I've done there. I just took the brush and just go kind of over your lashes like that depositing the glitter. I wouldn't go too close to your waterline because you don't want any of the glitter to end up in your eye because that can be quite painful. Um, all I've done on my lids is I've painted this over my eyeliner. Now you could go for a contrasting colour, like if I went for the silver it would stand out far more and it would be a bit more striking. This is kind of, well it started off subtle and it built it up. Because the Urban Decay ones are quite thin on the glitter front, the best way to get a good coating isn't to swipe it like that but kind of press it and work your way along and you'll deposit a little bit more glitter and it'll go a bit more evenly as well than if you swipe it because sometimes if you swipe it it can kind of like spread out to either side which is what happened with this swatch here I don't know if you'll be able to see that there's a kind of channel down the middle from where the brush ran so yeah pressing definitely the way to go obviously you can use all different colours like if I put cover or flip side eyeliner from Urban Decay this would look stunning on top because it's a nice turquoisey but also if I used that on top of black it would stand out more and be really striking. So that's my first bit on glitter eyeliner. I will be back shortly. Different makeup look, different day to show you another way of wearing it. So the next way of working with glitter uses a glitter eyeliner as well. And this is just the Gemma Kid one in diamond. And if I zoom you in, you can see that I've used it as my inner corner tear duct type highlight. So you can see this eye here, we've went a bit heavier and further in than on this eye. This just kind of gives you an idea of the different effects that you can have with this. So it's really easy, all you do is kind of decide how heavy you want to go, how far in you want to go and just start layering on around your tear duct and into wherever in your lid space you want to go to. Make sure that when you're working around your tear duct you're careful, you don't want to get into your tear duct because then it can work its way to your eye and that can be painful. It is cosmetic grade glitter but it's still not fun. 
Um, make sure you have a cotton bud nearby. It's quite good if you think you've slipped some into your tear ducts. You can just kind of catch it on the cotton bud before it works its way into your eyeball area. Uh, also, when you've packed on a layer of it, make sure that you keep your eyes partially closed at least until it's dry. You don't want the glitter kind of working its way up into here and possibly getting onto your eyeshadow and kind of spoiling it. So this is just a really, really simple technique. I think it'd be quite good if you had to go to a party, like after work or something. You could do like quite a neutral look during the day and then get some gold glitter and pack it into the corners to kind of liven it up and deepen up your crease a bit and it would just look much more of a party look. So, enjoy! So last we've got loose glitters. So again, just like eyeliners, you can get loads of different brands. It's like an old Too Faced one. And it's a Stargazer one. These are actually fairly similar in colour. I don't know why I have both of them. And of course there's MAC ones, which is what I'm going to be using today. This is actually fuchsia, but hello, it's purple. So, yeah. Okay, so adhesive for these. You can use uh, MAC's eyeliner mixing medium, things like that. Personally, I use a bit of Duo because I feel like it's going to stay on quite well. So all I do is I squeeze out a little bit onto any kind of surface, I tend to use eyelash boxes and because this is latex based, I've got a dry bit here you can literally just peel off what you don't use so you don't make a mess of your surface so I've just got a little puddle there it's been out for a while, so what I do is take my middle finger go into it rub my fingers like that so it's spread out so you get a thin layer because you don't want to cake this onto your eye and I just pass it onto the lid make it nice and sticky. So then I take another finger, a clean finger, and just get some glitter on there. And then what I do is I actually tilt my head forward so that if any glitter does fall out, it's going to fall away from my eye rather than into my eye because obviously that's going to hurt. So I just lean forward like that and just press it on where you press the glue. I do still always end up with fallout on my cheeks, but it's been a very long time since I had any loose glitter in my eye. And then you'll see that because you've rubbed your fingers together, you've got quite a nice kind of spread out glittery effect rather than just caked on. Obviously you can build this up, you can go back into your glitter and onto your eye and add more. So the last bit that we need to deal with now is the fallout for this. Obviously you can brush away most of it. But the best thing to do is get this type of tape. I always call it scotch tape. It's the plasticky stuff, you know, frosty looking plasticky. And you just cut yourself off a strip and then you see the glitter there. And just kind of line it up and press it down. Okay, and then just peel it away and as you can see the glitter sticks on there but this tape isn't like sticky enough that it's going to pull at your skin and hurt you, cause any damage, wrinkles, all that bad stuff. So that's it on glitter I'm afraid ladies and gentlemen. If you've got any questions please don't hesitate to leave a comment and please check out my other videos and rate, comment and subscribe. Bye guys!